everybody. I think there's a conversation we need to have about fear and putting your work, specifically your photography, out there. There's a couple of people over the last while that keep on asking, and it feels like they're asking for permission to put their work out there. And yesterday, I recorded a podcast. I sat down right here, and I recorded episode 138. And it was based around how do you start a wildlife photography project? And my version was just start. You don't need anybody's permission, just do it. And it's about a six or seven minute podcast. I listened to it afterwards while I was editing and I thought, e, I'm not sure this is good enough. I don't know if this is really what I wanted to say. So I could have either left it and not loaded, but I uploaded it and think, you know, let me upload it and move on. So I put it out there, I moved on. I got this message then later, this morning on Instagram. Jerry, you continue to be a source of inspiration to me both professionally and artistically. Just listen to episode 138 of the podcast, which is by far my most favorite of all of your episodes. Now, here I was sitting, uh, is this good enough? Judging my own work before I've put it out there. So, it would have been nice if someone said to me, no, it's cool, Jerry. I thought, just do it, just put it out there. And then it carries on. You are like the Gary V of wildlife photography. Now that's a big compliment. If you don't know who it is, go and check it out. I respect you both for sharing such helpful advice to the photographic, entrepreneurial, and global community at large. Just wanted to say thanks. So, the point is this. I was unsure of whether I should put the work out there. I recorded it. I wanted to put something out there. Whether it's a podcast or a video, whatever, it doesn't matter. I made something. I doubted myself, and I almost didn't load it yet. It impacted one person. Now, people are so much into likes and the numbers game on Instagram that I think they're missing the plot. To me, I don't care if I don't get 2,000 listens on that particular podcast. I made a difference to one person and that's what it's about. So, fast forward to this morning. Now, early this morning, 4.30, I wake up, have my coffee, I read Instagram and I get this message. I added more pictures to the Instagram. Are these good enough to pursue this as a new venture? I don't pretend to be a professional photographer or even that good, but can you tell if someone has a knack or talent for this? I'd hate to go through this effort and end up down a rabbit hole. You see where I'm gonna go with this? Don't ask for me, don't judge yourself. Just start, just put your work out there. My answer to this particular message, honest opinion, I do not worry if it's good enough and I just do it. There are always gonna be people who are better photographers, and if being good enough is going to be the yardstick against which you measure your progress as a photographer, you're always gonna be left wanting. You're always gonna be that person that is thinking, oh yeah, well, I can take a better picture than him. Well, you didn't, that's the point. Just do it, just start. Then while you're on the journey, figure things out. You'll be surprised how much you learn and how much you'll grow as a photographer. And that's the point, guys, stop asking for permission. Stop looking, you know what? If you are looking for permission, this is it. This is your permission right now. Go and put your work out there. Do that project, get it done, just start. There's someone out there and you don't have to get millions of people liking your work. You need one or two, but more importantly, you have done something and you have started. Stop looking for permission, guys. Just put your work out there. Don't judge yourself before it's out there. Put it out there, move on and let people decide for themselves. Just start.